Welcome to Porto Palo di Capopassero, the southernmost town on the island of Sicily. During my little tour of the Ragusa and Siracusa provinces this summer, I took a little break to go and visit Capo Passero, encouraged by some very positive feedback friends share with me. I went there expecting to visit a relaxed little town with beautiful sea and amazing food. And I wasn't disappointed. And it's not just about food and sea. Some big historical events happened here last century. This little town, which was part of the city of Pachino until the mid 70s, was one of the stages of naval warfare in World War II, where the Italian and British forces clashed during the Battle of Cape Passero in 1940. The Italian defeat was the prelude to the 1943 full attack on Sicily, when the Allied liberation started. And according to many sources, the main landing on eastern Sicily was right here, at Capo Passero. Just to clarify, this is Porto Palo di Capopassero in the province of Siracusa, not to be confused with the other Porto Palo in Sicily, which is near Agrigento. Well, we're going for lunch now. We were actually sitting right below the stairs and the restaurant is right here. So we're having lunch here in this restaurant. It's beautiful, right by the sea. It's called Zibibu. Uh, you know Zibibu, it's the it's one of the most typical Sicilian wines. Uh, we just got some wine here, so cheers to us. The Pacchino area is very famous for the Pacchino tomatoes, which are cherry tomatoes, which they, they're super, super sweet. They said that the sauce is like basically roasted cherry tomatoes. I right? just can't wait. We walked around the town center and the main street after lunch, but being August and being 3 p.m., there wasn't much action around. We're walking around the center here in Porto Paulo, and as you can see, it's a desert. It's 3 p.m., and the heat is unbearable. This is time to snooze off. It's way too hot outside. Life will start again after 5 p.m. I fell back in cork for a minute when I looked up and saw a fish on top of a tower. But it wasn't goldy this time, it was a cool Mediterranean swordfish overlooking the town. This short half-day trip to Capo Passero ends with a quick visit to Castello Tafuri, a stronghold perched on a hilltop overlooking the crystal clear Mediterranean Sea. Right beside the castle are the ruins of a Tonnara, a fortress-like fishery which was once a symbol of Sicilian prosperity and now an industrial archaeological site. <laughs> <laughs> 